G'day, I'm going to share something simple with you. How to drill a hole in metal. I'm going to be drilling a hole in a piece of aluminium, which is not really difficult because aluminium is nice and easy to work with. Now the hole I need to drill today is a six and a half millimetres. So it's not a huge hole. It is, however, a big enough of a hole to warrant pilot drilling. To begin with, I'm just going to mark the location of the hole with a pencil. And I want to go round about in the middle of those two holes there, which are about 30 millimetres apart. So I'm just going to draw a line here at 15 millimetres. I also want to go between centres here, and I've got 35 there. So half of 35 is 17 so I'll come across here 15, 16, 17 and a half millimetres. Now where these two lines intersect, that's where I want to drill my hole. The first step is to use a centre punch to put a dot right in the centre of where you want the drill to go. The reason why it's important to use a centre punch is because using a centre punch will stop the drill from wandering. If you don't centre punch a hole, it's really difficult to get the hole to start in the location that you want it to start because the drill has a tiny flat on the end of it and it will wander across the surface of the material and you're likely to end up with your hole not in the location that you wanted it to be. So I'm going to centre punch the hole, get the point right in the location I want it to be and then I'm using an automatic centre punch and the use of an automatic centre punch gives us a nice little dot there, just enough to stop the drill from wandering when we first start to drill the hole. When you're drilling metal, always secure the work in a vise or clamp it to a surface so that it can't rotate. If you're holding on to a piece of metal with one hand and trying to drill with another, or if you're using a drill press and you're trying to hold the work in your hand rather than clamping it or securing it with a vise, you're asking for trouble. Particularly when you're working with sheet metal, the moment you start to break through the other side of the metal when you're drilling a hole, the amount of friction increases dramatically. And at this point in time, it's very easy for the drill bit to catch and either break the drill bit or if you haven't secured your work, this is a point in time where it's highly likely that you will lose grip of the work and it will start rotating with the drill bit. At this point, you'll be lucky to keep your fingers. When you're drilling metal, wear safety glasses. I have learned this personally the hard way. I've had the unfortunate experience of having a piece of metal swarf lodged in my eyeball. Believe me, that was not a pleasant experience. So I'm pilot drilling the hole at two and a half millimetres. And by pilot drilling the hole, we can actually relieve the spike in friction when the cutting tool breaks through. I'm just going to locate the drill into the centre punch that I made earlier, checking the drill from two different angles to make sure the drill bit is 90 degrees from the work. When you're cutting metal, there's an ideal speed for the cutting surface to be passing the surface that's being cut. As you reduce the size of a drill bit, you need to increase the RPM in order to keep that optimal speed matching. And with a little practice, you'll start to get a feel for when the tool is cutting at its peak. And just a small amount of downward pressure but you may have actually heard the spike in friction as the drill bit broke through there. And that was reflected by a little chirping sound. Now I'm going to follow through with my correct drill size. In this case, six and a half millimetres. And I'm going to do this running the drill at a lower RPM. And you can actually see there... When I was breaking through the material, the amount of friction was actually enough to stall the drill, requiring me to add more torque. If you are holding the work by hand, at that point, 
you are likely to lose control of the work and then, well, it's up to the gods whether you're going to keep your fingers or not in that situation. It's always a good idea to deburr the hole afterwards. One way to deburr a hole is to get an oversized drill bit and just carefully, you don't need to put much down pressure on it, just carefully rotate that and that will break the sharp edge off of the work. Make sure to deburr both sides. You can also deburr with a countersink or a deburring tool. All right, so that's it. Drilling a hole in metal.